Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am finally here doing a flip through setup video of my Velvet Sand. I love it so much. I've been meaning to do a video of this for pretty much like all week, but work has just been so busy. But before I get started, I just wanna mention the exact same thing is happening as my unboxing video. What you're seeing in the camera, it makes it look like a really brown color. But literally, if I look in the camera and then I look at it he like in real life, in real life, this is a much more like pinky nude. Like it has a very pink undertone. So I really hate that the true color will not come up on camera. It just looks so different between the two. It's crazy, like looking back and forth. In real life, this is a very like rosy pink kind of nude undertone. It's so beautiful. It is so soft. Um, I think I mentioned in my unboxing video, I did spray it um, with, I think it's like the Apple Guard Leather Rain and Stain Protectant. I also sprayed my Undyed with that as well. And yeah, it is beautiful. I am so in love. Ugh, I just really wish you could see the true color because I'm telling you, it looks so different. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So I will mention if you have watched any of my previous like setup videos, my planners are always really, really similar. I mean, I have had like my sections and my inserts like set for a really long time now and they work for me really well, so they don't change. So that stuff is kind of always the same from setup to setup, like the order that things are in and how I plan. But when I move into a new cover, I pretty much just like to switch up the deco. So yeah, I've said that before, but so it is kind of similar. It's pretty much just like a different deco, like a different color theme and all of that. So anyways, getting started, I have some cards in the card pocket here. These are actually from Salty22. These are her peony task cards. They are so pretty. Um, this daily stickers sheet is from Papery Planning. And I actually have a code with Papery Planning. It's Amanda 10, but those fit perfectly in the pockets. And then this little June calendar card is from Sessa V. I have like a little clear business card here with my information on it. So I'm not going to take it all the way out. And then I just have this like nude sticker sheet. I think this one's from SK Journals. But yeah, pretty much just in there for decoration because I don't actually use those stickers. I have so many transparent stickers. I just grab them out of my drawer. Um, the first thing I have here is this glass inbox dashboard from Cloth and Paper. This appointment sticky note is also Cloth and Paper. It's actually not typically on there. I have an appointment on Monday, so I want to write the details and put it back. But anyways, yeah, this is the new Cloth and Paper glass inbox dashboard. So the other one just has inbox down the side, but this one kind of has that cool like half circle detail. I really, really love it. Transparent circle sticky note from Poi and Hun. And I have that layered on top of this um, vellum piece. So I actually printed these dashboards on vellum. They're from the Neutral Planner, and it was a collab with Vic Plans. And you'll see I have a ton of these throughout my planner. For some reason, I just feel like the like black line art kind of sketch florals look really, really good with the velvet sand. So that is there. These task cards are the same. Actually, I think this one's different from my last setup. I just made this task card inspired by Maddie Plans, of course, but I pretty much have always had two task cards like layered in the beginning of all my setups. To be totally honest, I used to use them, like I would actually take this off and put it on my inserts, but I don't know, I just haven't been doing that lately. I've just been writing everything, even when it's stuff that I write over and over. I really wanna get back into actually using them though, because even though for right now they're pretty much decor, and they're just like there to look pretty. They're actually really, really helpful. So anyways, um, and th this is pretty much just a piece of clear acetate. I have it linked in my Amazon favorites. And then I just put a business card sticky pocket on top that is also linked in my Amazon favorites as well. As you can see, the Velvet Sand does not lay flat, which I talked all about that in my unboxing video. I've been trying to train it kind of a pain in the ass. The undyed didn't lay flat either. The stardust lays completely flat, which is awesome. The undyed does not, but the undyed isn't as stiff. Like the velvet sand is a super stiff leather, whereas the undyed is a lot more like bendable. So it's easier to train. Um, this like 2021 calendar overview is from Infinite Lotus. The 2021 vellum 
is from Plan Hun. And then I have that layered on top of this cloth and paper journal card that I just cut down to put in the rings. And then I have some little circle transparent stickies from cloth and paper. My dividers here are from Salty22. You'll notice that my tabs are the exact same as they were in my Stardust. Um, I like to switch up my dividers every new setup. Like every divider set I have says the same things, obviously, because my sections don't change. So I pretty much just pick like what look I think will go best. And I really liked these low profile tabs with both my Stardust and Velvet Sand. When I was in the Undyed, I used um, my tabs from Caffeine and Paper Co. I really like those too. So this is the same digital declutter dash from Cloth and Paper, inbox inserts from Cloth and Paper. I still have yet to use these. Like it's so silly. I think I've said this before, but I have an inbox in my weekly section. So that's honestly what I use more now than flipping to the way front of my planner. But I just can't take these out for some reason. They're just so pretty and I swear I will use them one day. Um, this Fortitude vellum is also cloth and paper. I've got this little Catspresso Co. pocket. I pretty much have these in all my setups. Um, you can put so many things in here. I love it. But here I have this Clear Authenticity card. It's actually on top of the nude um, floral card from SK Journals. SK Journals came out with some really cute um, like dashboards and journal cards lately. So definitely check them out. This little kindness never goes out of style journal card is also from SK Journals. I have another floral vellum from the Neutral Planner. I feel like this looks so pretty layered over this cloth and paper dashboard. And okay, sorry, I just got a phone call, but I'm back now. Um, anyways, what I was saying was this floral dashboard looks really pretty layered over this cloth and paper dashboard. It was in re one of the recent boxes and I just love this nude color. Ugh so pretty on the back of that i just have a sticky note from Poi and hun and then another cloth and paper transparent square this is the monthly cloth and paper card that comes in most of the boxes i've pretty much had this layered over here for a while i just switch it out every month um and then the next section is my monthly so again these inserts have not changed because they're just working so well for me this is an overview from Paper Test Designs, and I do have a code with Paper Test Designs, it's Amanda20. Um, this overview I pretty much just use for birthdays and anniversaries, and then the 2021 future log from Paper Test Designs I use for like all my future planning. So all of my appointments go on here first, and then as a month comes, I'll move it on to my monthly, and then as the week comes, I move it on to my weekly. So it's pretty much just like this flowing kind of system. So anyways, yeah, that is that. This is a sticky note from Sterling Inc. I do you have a code with Sterling Inc? It's Amanda20. Um, those are the three shops that I have codes with right now. Sterling Inc, Papery Planning, and Paper Test Designs. <laughs> but that's it. I love all three shops so much. And of course, everything I mention will be linked in the description box as usual. Um, this vellum dashboard is from Cloth and Paper. It was in a box. My monthly inserts are Cloth and Paper. I switch up my weekly inserts and stuff all the time, but I've just never had the desire to switch up my monthlies. I mean, these work fine for me. Monthlies pretty much all look the same, except for maybe like a different font or something. So I'm completely happy with these. I keep in two months at a time, but I don't really fill these out until it gets closer to the next month. And because I have my little pre-planning thing, I can look ahead. Like this is where I really am able to kind of look ahead. So this dashboard is cloth and paper. On the back, I actually have this little nude Zodiac die cut from Little Magic Prints. It was just so pretty and like, I don't know, I feel like the nude colors really go well with velvet sand. Um, so next is my bills section. I mean, this is in my monthly, but you can see I have a top tab for bills and I pretty much use this month on one page from Paper Test Designs. And the month on one page also comes with this little insert right here. If you've watched my videos, you've probably seen these before, but I basically put all my main bills over here. Um, the nude is the main bills, pink is paydays. And then in this little thing, in this column, I just add like those little additional things. So like subscription boxes, Netflix. I don't really like count those with my larger bills. Um, and then pink is, you know, income. So those are paydays from my nine to five job. And then this is just signifying a payday from like YouTube and then my Amazon link. 
Um, and then in this column here, I pretty much just notate if my main bill is a manual pay or an auto pay. I do auto pay for as much as I can, so I don't have to even think about it. So I have another Cat Espresso Co. dashboard. Sorry, the ring light is so annoying. But in here, I have another one of those peony task cards from Salty22. And then that's what the back of it looks like. So you can kind of see like the front and the back. And then this clear card is from Onyx Paper Co. I just kind of have that layered over top. Um, this plastic etched dashboard, it's like an etched floral. That is from Salty22 as well. And I have this layered over this nude self-cultivation dashboard from Cloth and Paper. Again, this nude color is just so pretty. I love it. Um, these are inbox sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. They're relatively new. Another square flag. Um, once again, this vellum, as you think, so it shall be. That is Cloth and Paper. And then this is another one of those florals from the Neutral Planner. I just think they're so pretty. Here's another Cat Espresso Co. Um, like vinyl dashboard. This hasn't changed from my last setup. I just have an EO Edits card and a little monthly card from Point and Hun. And then on the back, these are the AMPM um, cloth and paper cards. And I pretty much just used my label maker to put stuff on them like you would a task card. Um, this, it's like a hibiscus, I think. I can't remember what, what flower that is. But this vellum is from Queen City Designs. And I feel like it looks so pretty over this cloth and paper vellum dashboard. And not only do I like just love the design of this cloth and paper dashboard, but their little circle transparent sticky notes actually fit perfectly in the open circle. So it's pretty much just like, yeah. Um, this is a piece of acetate. I made this myself on Canva. I printed it on acetate and then I put transparent dots or drop stickers on the back actually so you could see through. Um, this is my planning routine, just daily, weekly, and monthly. I like having this to reference. And that was actually inspired by my written gallery on Instagram. So she made this for herself. Like it was definitely her idea and I just got inspiration and I made the same thing. So I wanted to give her the proper credit. Um, I didn't like, I put my own planning routine. Of course I didn't use hers cause my planning routine is obviously specific to me, but just the overall kind of design. I definitely got inspired by her. Next section is my weekly. Um, these cover pages are actually from Maria Plans. She made them as a custom for me. I have this little sticky note here. Um, these are printables. So I printed it on a cloth and paper sticky note. These are linked in Planning with Aloe's bio. So again, I will add it below, but I really like this tracker sticky note. And I have a tracker section, but I started using a new tracker. I'll kind of explain it when I get there, but I'm basically just tracking certain items on this sticky note. Um, this self-care vellum I just made myself on Canva and printed just different like self-care things I can do depending on how much time I have. This stuff was all in my Stardust setup. This is a little half page monthly from Cloth and Paper. I do really like having this in my weekly section. It's just like quick at a glance instead of having to flip over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope I'm not going too fast. Um, and then this Elysian dashboard is Cloth and Paper. I have that layered over the Queen City Designs inbox vellum, and then this is a sticky note from Three Nickies, and that is all on top of this insert, which is kind of like a get it done inbox insert from Paper Test Designs. I actually had Paper Test Designs other inbox insert in here, but when I did this setup, I switched to this one. I just want a chance to use all her inserts. Um, this is like a little memo pad, today's top three. I just punched it and put it in here, but this is from um, Pretty Planner Crafts. And then I have this rose vellum from the Planner Spot. It is so pretty. So this was actually last week's weekly. This horizontal weekly is a freebie from A Nerd Plans on Instagram. Um, you can ignore this because this was the week of March 29th to April 4th, but I am using this insert for this week. So this is the current week right here. So I've talked about this before, but I switch weeklies a lot. Like I pretty much use a new weekly every week. And because of that, I don't like to keep all the different inserts in there because it's just so much paper. And then you have like that awkward spot right here where it's like neither of these, you know, are like accurate. I mean, I guess I could like paper clip it together or something, but 
Typically, the only reason I haven't taken this out yet is because I haven't yet taken a photo of it for my Instagram feed, but typically I only keep the current weekly. I don't really ever find myself needing to go back and reference previous weeklies, um, but if I ever do use the same weekly for multiple weeks in a row, then I would keep all of that in here. So I've done that before with like cloth and paper inserts where I use the same weekly for like a month straight. So I kept the whole month in here. So the only reason I don't do that is just because I switch weekly so often, but I love these. These are from mommy a plans. I'm just really loving her style and like small grid right now. And that's why I liked these freebies. Cause you can tell this has really small grid too. So yeah, love that. Here's another one of those top three memo pads that was just for today. And then this top tab that says Chow is from Ola Dear Paper. You can choose the language and I really, really like that. Just have some random notes. Um, this I made myself on Canva from the Ariana Grande song. And that just separates my dailies. So these are old dailies, but I like to keep them in here so I can use the back side of them like when I want to. Just like I switch weeklies, I like to switch around and try different styles of dailies as well. And I just like to keep these in here again so I can use the back side. But once I use the back side, then I would probably take it out. But yeah, so I have all these dailies. I guess I should mention where they're from. Hold on a minute. So that's Peanuts Planner Co. That is Mommy Plans. This is the Delicate Leo. This is Roro Designs, Paper Test Designs, another Peanuts Planner Co, Peanuts Planner Co, and then Paper Test Designs. And then I have yet another floral from uh, the Neutral Planner collab with Vic Plans. I thought it looked really cool layered on top of this dashboard. This was also in my Stardust. I just love it so much. Um, is that a spot on it? I can't tell. Either way, this is printed on linen paper. This is from Onyx Paper Co. And I just love it because it's that textured like linen paper. Super pretty. Cloth and paper sticky notes. Um, as you can tell, I don't like white backs. Like I don't like just having like a plain white <laughs> back. I have to put something, whether it's a sticky note or something. That's why when I print my own dashboards, I always print them like double-sided like this one right here. So this curated wardrobe is a freebie from Life is Monica, and I thought it was really cute. And then on the back, I printed this iconic freebie from Luna Lou's Plans. It was a little bigger than pocket size, so you can see, I think her Instagram handle was here, but I had to cut it off. But yeah, this is like the prettiest nude color. Things do not show up true to color on camera. It's so frustrating, because a lot of this stuff is like such a beautiful color, but you're just like not getting the full picture. Um. This vellum is from Maria Plans. I just printed it on vellum. And then I have another paper test designs, like kind of like insert or yearly insert. But what I've been doing is pretty much just writing memories, like top three memories of the month. Because again, there's just so many pretty inserts out there. And I really wanted to use this one, but I didn't have a need for like another like legit planning insert. So I just decided to make it memories. Um, this is just some random stuff that I made with my label maker. This is a weekly routines insert from Paper Test Designs. So it's got like Monday through Friday and I pretty much just wrote my AM and PM routine for each day because it, you know, probably changes depending on meetings and stuff. This Grow Vellum was a collab between Poin Hun and Ivy Mill. And then I just have that layered on top of another piece of acetate with a sticky pocket. This card is like my favorite card ever. It's really funny because the only reason I added that was because I felt like the nude in the back was a lot prettier than just not having it there. And I also love this card so much, I had to find a place for it. It is silky soft. It's got this like silver foil line art and it is from Queen City Designs. And then this is just one of the memo cards from Cloth and Paper. So back here, there's not much deco. It's pretty much just all my lists. So the next section is obviously my list section. Um, this insert is paper test designs. It's just all the books that I have that I need to read. Once I read them, I will check them off. Um, Resolute dashboard from cloth and paper. I have these puff and pages co inserts, which I actually haven't written on this in a while. I really need to do that. Um, but basically like 
I always would find myself making lists of what pictures I wanted to take for my Instagram feed. And that's only because I have so many planners. So I would be like, at the end of the week, I'd be like, okay, I need to take a picture of my weekly spread in my rings, my weekly spread in this other planner. So I, oh, I still do constantly write it down. I just haven't used this insert very much lately, but you can see like literally on my weekly, I have a little IG photos section where I put this week in my rings, this week in my TN. I want to retake like last week's weekly, you know, it's just how I keep track. Cause I do like to post all my weeklies on my Instagram. Um, this quarterly overview is again, paper test designs, and I pretty much use it for PR posts and YouTube uploads. Um, so yeah, it's June. I guess I haven't, I never filled that out because I remember I had to check if some of my PR teams were like ending this month or if they were extended. So I still need to write that, but I basically just notate what days I upload a YouTube video and what days I post, um, like with my PR code. This is a media content manager insert from cloth and paper. This one is blank, but I do actually use this. Like one of my previous videos was a collab with Puff and Pages Co. So that's one of the scenarios where I would use this insert because you can see it's contact and collaboration with content overview, and you can just like make notes about stuff like that. This is just a notes page with my current shop codes and sub boxes. As you can see, I actually canceled all my sub boxes <laughs> except for cloth and paper. This little shopping tab is just kind of like my wish list section. I literally just have a sticky note with some upcoming um, stationary releases that I want to keep track of. And then this wish list insert is from cloth and paper. Resilience dashboard is also cloth and paper. And then we are at my tracker section. So I have my trackers in here since January. I could take them out to save space in my rings, but they're just so satisfying. I don't want to take them out. So as you can see, January, February, March, and April, I used this tracker from Peanuts Planner Co. I introduced this sleep tracker from the Delicate Leo in April. And then this is May. So I've got my sleep tracker. In May, I switched to using this tracker from Paper Test Designs, and I really love it. I love Paper Test Designs like style of inserts, but there are less lines here than there are on the Peanuts Planner Co. ones. So I had to like condense and put like, I pretty much put like my health stuff and my mood, and then I put all the extra like social media stuff on this sticky note. So that's how I have it broken up. Whereas before, everything could fit on the Peanuts Planner Co. ones. But I just really like the way these paper test designs ones look. So yeah, this is the current month. And I just have this little like sticky tab there. Um, this is my reoccurring tasks tracker. So it's kind of like on a yearly basis. I just have things like my dog's flea and tick meds, like my registration expires, dental cleanings. And I actually have my subscription boxes here. So the lines are because I like canceled some of them. But this way I can keep track that I'm getting you know, the subscription boxes that I paid for without having to put them on my order tracker. Um, and that this right here is my order tracker. Don't judge me. I now have a, I'm like a lister, like crazy. I literally have a specific list for orders outside of the U S again, because sometimes things outside of the U S can take a lot longer. And sometimes if I would write them on this order tracker, everything would be crossed off and I would be ready to throw this insert away and there would still be one thing that hadn't come yet and it would usually be something like outside of the U.S. So that's why I started doing that. It's just a mess. As you can see, I, I use sticky notes, um, page flags for little notes just like everywhere, but at least then I can justify buying all the new colors that come out because I use them so much. This dashboard is cloth and paper and the very last section is just notes just extra notes, this task manager insert is from Paper Test Designs, and this is where I keep track of all my covers that I like haven't used yet. So I went from Undyed to Stardust to Velvet Sand. I still have not used my Parm, my Poussière, or my Moterm Cream Croc yet. So I just write a little bit of notes about like how I want the setup to be and check it off once I do it. Um, this is a Puff and Pages Go insert that I just have some meal ideas, and that's pretty much it. This is kind of acting as a page lifter, but it's a task card from Maddie Plans. I have another one of those custom business cards, and then the there's a journal card below it from Paper Panda. And then I don't have much in the pockets 
just a June card from Cloth and Paper. This is my freebie with papery planning. And then this is just like a freebie card. I can't even remember where I got that. But anyways, yeah, that is it. That is my Velvet Sand setup. This planner is so gorgeous. Like, I just, I cannot get over it. I love it. As you can see, here's how my tabs and everything look. This is the same exact configurations as my Stardust and as my Undyed. This is definitely my winner. Pocket size, Vanderspeck, these configurations. That is definitely my number one. I'm always like so crazy about this leather. I actually keep it on this Moterm pouch because it sits on my desk all day. So I'll keep it on this pouch just so it doesn't like touch the table. But anyways, yeah, that was my setup. I hope you enjoyed um, and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.